Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So I was supposed to be streaming right this second as I'm recording this. Um, I was meant to be streaming the Ubisoft uh, forward event um, with like game reveals and gameplay trailers and stuff, which we're supposed to get an Outlaws gameplay reveal for. Um, however, my OBS has been messing up recently, so it crashed on stream yesterday. It crashed on stream today. My entire PC then crashed and then my internet went out tonight. So... I am now not streaming this and I'm just going to record it. So I'm waiting on it coming up now and we're going to record my reaction. So I'm excited and I hope you guys are ready because I am very, very ready. Um, I'm in such a bad mood after my internet and my OBS and stuff breaking. But at least I'm still, I've got it, managed to get it back up now. But I didn't want to risk going live and things fucking up again. So I'm just recording it, but let's get into it. Now I am very happy to welcome Julian from Ubisoft Massive to give you a first look at Star Wars Outlook. Let's go, baby! And gameplay. Let's go! So thank you. Julian. Ah! I'm okay, I swear I'm okay, I'm fine. Calm, calm down, do you wanna see gameplay or not? You think we can calm down? Right. Let's get over the speech and let's get to the gameplay. Star Wars Outlaws takes place in a time of great civil unrest across the galaxy. For some, this is a time of turmoil. For Outlaws, this is a time of opportunity. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> As a cunning thief, Kay Vess and her companion Nyx fight for survival every single day relying on their skills and resourcefulness to get by. As they struggle to make ends meet, Kay and Nix dream of the day that they will finally be free. But while seeking this freedom, Kay unexpectedly becomes one of the galaxy's most wanted. He's so pretty. So Nix is so herself, cute. From the bounty that follows her, Kay will need to pull off one of the greatest heists the Outer Rim has ever seen. Damn. As they navigate the underworld, caught between criminal syndicates and vicious, ruthless villains, Kay and Nyx will manage their reputation by taking on risky contracts and navigating complex relationships. All right, we'll switch to big screen. Kay and Nyx's journey will take them across the galaxy through stunning, varied open world locations and the wilds of space. One of these locations is Tashara, a moon that features windswept savanna and ambering canyons. Wow. Carved into Tashara's striking landscape, the city of Miragana. It looks so pretty. As a central hive of scum and villainy. And villainy, yeah, boy. KNX will encounter several criminal syndicates that learn that everything is measured in the value of influence, reputation, or cold, hard credits. This presents an abundance of opportunities and dangers for a young, ambitious scoundrel like Kay. It's our privilege to present to you this first ever look at gonna Star cry, Wars guys. Outlaws. I'm actually gameplay. gonna cry. I love him so much. Please, I want him. Good boy. I want that fighter stripped for parts by tomorrow. On it. All right, next. Let's go get paid. It looks so pretty. That worked. Who's the boss? The 
mods quite nice. Got one down in the bottom for your weapon and one down in the other side for uh, Nyx. That's cute. Nyx. Oh, you can use him to attack and distract and press buttons. Hit that button. Whoa, he's such a good little guy. Nice one. Okay, that's kind of cool. So there's gonna be stealth involved. Uh oh! Uh, I was just leaving. Unless that happens. Whoa! Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Oh, shield. Oh, okay, okay. You got a stun mode as well. That's interesting. Hey, Nick. Catch. You can go. You can get him to go get guns for you. This is getting bad. Let's try this out. Dink Ferrick. Oh, are we gonna swing? Oh, hell yeah. Nice, we got a grapple and we've got a bike. Well, right? Well, I'm going to crash and die a lot of times on this. <laughs> wow, this area looks beautiful. Hang on. Oh, fuck. ND5. Were you seen? I said I got it. What else matters? Should I assume we won't be working for the Pikes anytime soon? Um, well, they'll probably forgive me. Comforting. <laughs> uh oh. Pikes seem to get reputation, so your reputation must go up and down for certain it. groups, which is interesting. Oh, I can't wait to see ND5. Why did they make him kind of fine? I'm so annoyed. <laughs> like, put that jacket on him and damn! <laughs> Suddenly I'm not afraid anymore. There he is. Hey, Andy. You're late, Kate. Doc is waiting. What? Are you worried? No. Okay. An no interesting control. choice. What? Be careful. Doc has a broker, not a friend. Like a... She can't be trusted. A BX? You can out here. See you back at the ship. Such an interesting choice. I love it. So different. Round two, and I still like my odds. KVS. Back already. I told you she's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Just a friend. An imp, I see. Join us. Interesting. Job was more complicated than you said, Danka. You I notice she's got some tattoos. <laughs> I would like to see more of that, please. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> They're investments. <laughs> Ooh, 
Wait. We haven't met. Don't really know many of you. Stealing illegal contraband, running with syndicates. I could say you're a threat to the Empire. <laughs> but I won't have to if you're smart. Okay, so you get a choice Thanks. between these things. I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Let's just relax. Enemies to lovers? <laughs> you won't make it off to Shara alive. Maybe. I love her style. I love what she looks like. All troopers. Of a fugitive in Georgia's hope, move to apprehend. Ah, uh, shit. That Imperial announcement wouldn't be about you, would it? Uh, could be. I told you not to trust her. Interesting. So you get a wanted not level. The first time we've outrun the Empire. Okay. R5? Oh, I saw that Lambda shuttle. Oh. Okay, so we've got a nice we looking believe. ship. This is yeah, interesting. No there is a workbench, so I, I think we can explore the ship and do different things. Cool ship! I see up in the top left you've got like your sort of wanted level, I guess. Which is interesting too, I like that. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. I'm gonna get so many wanted levels. Oh my god, oh, we yeah. actually get to fly through Nothing space? On the sensors yet. And you can go on hyperdrive? Whoa, we actually get to fly our ship Anybody and. Anybody on the sensors now? <gasps> space battles! TIE fighters on us. No! Oh. I got one. Are I you feel kidding? I remind you that we should shake the Empire quickly. Thanks, I'm working on it. Yeah, let's go! Oh, this is so exciting! Holy shit! ND, get us out of here. Stooling hyperdrive. Oh! Let's jump. Try spinning. Oh, dude, that's so cool. So you can just fight and then you can jump to hyperspace whenever you want. Dude! <sighs> we made it. So it feels very open world. And very choice based with some things. Oh, bestie! Got your new toy. So, where do we go next? Anywhere we want. He's so pretty! I need to know this tattoo though. I need information. Please. That, that got me at the end. That's emo I'm emotional as fuck right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a thing on screen that says more on Star Wars Outlaws after the show. So I'm going to keep watching. 
Uh, and I'm gonna record whatever I can that's relating to that. Hi, my name is Umberly Gonzalez, and I play K Vess in Star Wars Outlaws. K Vess is a thief, she's a scoundrel. She's really good at sneaking around. You know, she's charming and she'll like talk to you, but she's already taking all your things. She isn't perfect at it, but she always seems to get away with it. Kay really finds herself uh, in a bit of a jam. You know, she's got a bounty on her back and is trying to find work. That's when she starts to really realize, I kind of like this underworld business. I kind of like this world. And she's trying to thrive on it. She has to survive because nobody else will save her unless it's her. The only person that she has is her companion, Nyx. They're not even human, but that is the closest thing she has to feeling a part of something in the world. I also think that Nyx, in a lot of ways, is kind of an extension of Kay, both in a gameplay sense or a story sense, you know? In gameplay, she allows Kay to do things she never thought possible. And in the story, it's also a way for Kay to kind of you know, sense when something's off or, or see an opportunity or that kind of thing. Really, they're completely That's connected. That's so wholesome. I love that relationship. I'm so excited for people to meet next because they're gonna fall in love with him too. I already have fallen in love with him. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Outlaws takes place right between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So it's the civil war between the rebellion and the Empire. That has actually created this pocket of opportunity for syndicates and criminal organizations to rise up in that space. Our boy Han Solo. We've got the huts. We've got a new syndicate that we've crafted uh, for this game called the Ashiga Clan. Ashiga Clan, cool. one of cool. the phrases we always held on to was this notion of you live and die by your reputation. So it's really exciting for Kay and, I, and hopefully for players. She's so fearless. You'll see her just go for it, and there's no stopping her, even when there's danger involved. Even when there's fear underneath it, she'll never let you see it. Not really. For a scoundrel story, you know, you really have to ask yourself, when is enough enough? How far is Kay willing to go to land that big score? And that, those are questions she's gonna tackle through the whole story. We worked with Lucasfilm every step of the way in crafting the story, and they were an invaluable partner in helping us create and craft this thing. They were really embracing us with open arms in terms of, hey, we want to focus on the underworld. We want to focus on an outlaw navigating through that space. But we're sort of there to help guide and point out like, hey, here's an opportunity you might not have looked at, or there's a character you might, have, might want to consider. So really it was a partnership through and through. I feel like this is one of the biggest, <laughs> if not the biggest franchise of our lifetime. The themes, like everything, has just been a part of our world. And for me and, and for the world of Star Wars, I know that people are gonna love this game, not just for how amazing the gameplay is, but like the story itself, to see a young girl become a I'm woman, already obsessed with her. Outlaw. What, are you worried? She's no. just another opera Andrews, and I'm obsessed. Energy, her humor, her wit. All of that really has kind of helped inform the character. She has a way of jumping between that matinee action, high stakes the tone, to shifting to really intimate, really personal performances that make you connect to Kate. Getting to bring my own heart and then mix it in with that confidence and her toughness and her charm and wit, it's, it's really fun. It makes her very endearing, even though she's a very tough person. You won't make a Dr. Shah alive. Maybe. And yeah, it kind of feels like she was always meant to be Kay. She informs it in every way. I love bringing a character like this to life, and it's an honor, honestly, to be a part of this world. It's definitely a dream come true. I love her, she's so sweet. I'm still doing it, so literally like about to hop and do a scene right now. So it's all just exciting, and I feel now I'm really locked into the character. The team is amazing, and I feel very supported, and I'm happy that they found me, because I feel like I was meant I'm gonna to cry this again. <laughs> Make sure to catch me alongside with some developers and cast members at Comic-Con International this July in San Diego.
welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay walkthrough breakdown. I'm Chastity Vicencio with Ubisoft <laughs> News, and I'm joined by narrative director Naveed Kabari, creative director Julian Garrity, and game director Matthias Carlson, who are going to give us more information about what we saw in the gameplay walkthrough. Here we go. And this is our first ever introduction to Nyx. Nyx is a Murkal, a rare Murkal. Okay. Whose home planet still remains a mystery. So we have a he's species got a very name. curious personality, as you can see here. He can be a bit stubborn, but he has an incredibly strong bond with Kay and always follows her lead. She's grown up with Nyx for most of her life. He's not just a pet; he's family. Good boy. And here we have Kay. First introduction to a brand new scoundrel in this galaxy. Kay is a young thief who's found herself on the moon of Tashara, which is a hive of underworld activity. She's picked up a high-risk job to steal a priceless sort of mollusk-like object from a lieutenant of the Pike Syndicate. Once she's grabbed it, with the help of Nick, she's gonna turn it in and earn some much needed credits. So Pikes are one of the syndicates uh, that we'll be tangling with in uh, Star Wars Outlaws. And the Pikes here are borrowing without permission some vehicles from the Empire and the Rebels and uh, different people and cutting them up. Nyx. Hit that button. Nyx is uh, more than just a lovable and fierce companion. Uh, Nyx is a whole bag of tricks in and of himself. You saw him push that button from a distance. He can uh, distract guards. He can attack on command. He's just so wonderful. He can help you with puzzles. He can help you discover secrets as well. He is uh, very much oh, conceived as a symbiotic part of the player's control over K and Nick. So we're really thinking of them together as a whole. They come as a pair, do not separate. <laughs> So when we meet Kay in the beginning of the game, she, she knows her way around the blaster. It's not necessarily her first option or primary tool to solve a, solve a problem or a situation. However, as we progress through the game and it's many ever more dangerous situations, both Kay and the blaster itself will evolve and improve. And you will soon find it to be a central and very versatile tool. Nice. For more than just directly taking out the enemy. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. Kay's blaster is very meaningful to her. Uh, this blaster has a lot of uh, modules that you can uh, discover, upgrade, uh, and apply. Hell to yeah, we do love ourselves a blaster to deal upgrade. With situations in radically different ways. Seems pretty smooth to switch between the different options as well, which is nice. You don't have so to go into like a menu a and change things around. The type of uh, role Nyx can play, even in something like a full-on firefight, where that enemy that we took out dropped the gun that he was just about to shoot you with. Nyx can, you know, slink down. I love that. And retrieve that weapon for you. I actually love that that he can do that. You don't have to risk your life to go get a weapon when Nyx Sometimes, can do it for you. Best solution is just to get out of there yeah that'll be my option most likely so ever since we kicked off this project Run. Uh, in collaboration with lucasfilm games uh, one of the things that they were passionate about of course is authenticity one of the things we were passionate about is bringing something to the galaxy of star wars and one of the biggest things was this uh, moon tushara and tushara we developed uh, working very closely with lucasfilm everything from its vegetation to the wildlife to its deep rich culture and all of the activities that we can discover during this trailer and even more i'm excited to explore one of the, the key pillars uh, for both k the character and for the the core gameplay in general in star wars outlaws is what we call a resourceful underdog k is a capable and daring person and we reflect that in gameplay with you having access to a wide range of actions and abilities, ever growing, of course, as you play through the game, ranging from stealth to full on firefights, whereas we still saw here uh, you know, shooting from, you know, driving your speeder full speed ahead under fire from enemies. 
We said if we can make the player think like, oh, I can't believe I made it. When when they just play through something, it's a success. Oh god, I'm gonna struggle, aren't I? <laughs> Kay's reputation with the syndicates will play a big role in how she approaches her journey, whether it's the pikes, huts, or others. We had a saying that in the underworld, you live and die by your reputation. If a job she takes hurts a syndicate, those opportunities aren't available. So her choices play into how she I love that. I love you have choices in this. You can kind of go different this directions. This is Hope. Jaunt's Hope is uh, one of the settlements that we have in the game. So this is a tiny outcrop, an oasis of civilization in these windswept plains. And it usually contains a uh, drinking hall, a uh, cantina. And these are hubs of activity too. So we very much enjoyed developing how it would look and feel and what sort of vibe that cantina would have. But this is just one of many settlements and cities that Kay will discover across the galaxy. And that includes the capital of Miragana, a city on Tashara filled with corruption and underworld activity. No. Okay. ND5 is a BX commando built by the Separatists and battle-hardened during the Clone Wars. Nowadays, though, he serves as kind of an enforcer droid in the underworld. He's so He's cool. With Kay as they attempt to pull off a big, high-risk job. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Not a friend. She can't be trusted. Who can out here? See you back at the ship. So various jobs and favors for the, the different characters and, and factions you encounter. They play a important role in everything from learning new things, actually unlocking equipment and abilities, to managing your precious reputation in the underworld, which is the key to some of the most lucrative It feels like, this character feels like another note, Sid though, something that's of the Star Wars universe. The fantasy they of get the on well. scoundrel lifestyle is that you're never in servitude of anyone. You're making your own choices, carving your own path through this world, making a name for yourself. Job was more complicated than you said, Dunka. You lived. <laughs> Who she works for, whether it's with syndicates or otherwise, is crucial to creating a reputation for herself. And then how she approaches those syndicates through those choices is going to be key to gaining bigger and better rewards, whether it's for credits or priceless artifacts. Wait. So nothing in the underworld is black and white, oh, and we wanted to reflect that in the choices she makes when taking on jobs. This is one example of many. Does she just hand over what was stolen, keep a cut for herself, lie about how the job went down or the intel she learned? It's really left up to her. In these scenes where we're gonna give a choice to the player, and these choices, they, there is no wrong answer. There's just ways to weave your own story. Hey, as long as there's no wrong answer, that's change, good. Challenge, I will not panic as much. reputation with certain uh, factions and syndicates, decrease it, gain an advantage or a different perspective on the story too. So we put a lot of effort in giving the player agency over their own trajectory. Dang. So the game takes place in the original trilogy era. So the Empire is at the height of its power and reach. So they're always looming there, somewhere in the background, ever watchful. But as you can see here, we want to show a different side to the Empire and how it intersects with the underworld. And that means corruption. Particularly on Tishara, even though it's Imperial run, the local governors and officers lean into corruption and have worked out special arrangements with the syndicates that benefit them. Interesting. So this is the wanted system, and the wanted system uh, is something that's going to be ever-present within the game. If you are caught or challenge the Empire, you're going to start to get wanted. And if you continue, you persist and you do even more oh, actions, no. that wanted level is just going to go up. At the highest levels, the Empire will throw a huge amount of resistance and oh, forces Oh, that's scary. So that's something that you can play around with, but you're best off uh, trying to avoid as much as possible. Very important yeah. for us in this experience is that there will always Fun, be though. some way for you to de-escalate or escape. Oh, this is uh, the Trailblazer. Now, if there's one dream Trailblazer. that a lot of uh, game developers have, it's to help design a uh, nice spaceship name. I like for Star it. Wars. And this is our take on that, the Trailblazer. I love it. The Trailblazer is an EML 850 light freighter from the Republic era. But to Kay, this is home. 
And if you're a scoundrel traveling throughout the galaxy, the first thing you need is a ship. And for Kay, there's none better than the Trailblazer. So now we're in space. Yeah, we and, are. You know, one of the things that was very precious. I can't to us believe is we get this. this seamless experience of going on foot to your speeder to uh, your spaceship out of the atmosphere and into space. And space is a dangerous place, but it's a place full of opportunities too. So we'll be using it for combat, both on a an intimate <sighs> dogfighting level, an epic level with bigger ships but also for discovery, exploration, uh, and special surprises. Special surprises, you say? I'm so happy they've got this in. Space exploration, uh, dog fights. Those classic ah. iconic notes of Star Wars to remind players of the era that they're playing in. And the fact that the galaxy is something that is wide, diverse, but iconic at the same time. One of the things that uh, is important for us is that every planet that you will visit in this adventure has a distinct profile, not just oh. a uh, very bespoke story, uh, but also wildlife and ecosystem and situations that really radically change from location to location. And space is just uh, another part of that. So we're trying to develop uh, distinct profiles for every single orbital region. I'm obsessed. We knew from the start I need when we it sat down immediately. About this game that we wanted to offer that full seamless experience. You know, sitting in a cantina in a city on a planet surface, jumping on your own speeder, driving to your own ship, and as we just saw, seamlessly flying into space is something that we are incredibly pleased and happy and excited that we're able to, to actually offer. We really enjoyed making this, and we can't wait for you to experience. I can't wait to experience it. Oh my god! Like, I feel like this is still not real. It doesn't feel real. Dude, what the fuck? Why is this real? Like, I, 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 I feel like my reactions spoke all, but I just can't tell you how excited I am for this. It looks so good. And it came as such a surprise as well. Like, I was not expecting this at all. Moving my camera back there real quick. Um, like, it just, it just doesn't feel real. And I'm, I was so excited. I am so, so, so excited. Um, Ubisoft. Thank you for this. This is wonderful. This is beautiful. And I am very, very excited to play this game and to see what else there is to offer from it. I cannot wait at all. Like the character design, the the like the world design, everything. Just the, the I have no words. I have no words left to express how I feel about this. I just give me it now. I want it now. Hand it over. Ubisoft handed over. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will be talking about this nonstop until it gets released. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, if you don't already, um, it's just Louise Julie underscore. Um, and if you want to follow my Twitch, I will be definitely streaming this game once it comes out. Uh, and I will be reacting to all the content that gets released for it. So any more like any more information, any more trailers we get, anything else, I will be posting videos on here about it. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that in the future. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace and may the force be with you.